Yo guys, what's going on and welcome back to my channel to another video for Squad Busters. In today's video, we want to check out the most picked units for each rarity. And with that said, thank you everybody for being here again, really appreciate it. If someone else is new here, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for free to my channel. Do not miss any news about Squad Busters in the future. Before we hop into today's video, a huge shout out to Royal API. They have done a huge job mining down those values I'm showing you in the next minutes. And you definitely should check out the first link in the first comment because there are more information which are definitely interesting for you. But I don't want to spoil you guys with that. So what have they done? They have looked at the numbers for the last three picks dated out on the 27th. Which units have been picked the most for each rarity commons rare and epics and this is right now the official meta at least according to the picks and the pick rate yes these are the units picked the most and we already can see right next to me the most common picks is for sure the barbarian and i consider him as well as being the best common unit it is just very very nice a lot of damage it is an all-rounder and usually in games all-rounders are not too good but next we got shelly and cold while they are pretty even but still a little difference. But for my personal feeling, yes, I'm picking them pretty even as well. And then we already got the Chicken, Crack, Trader and Mavis. And if I see that, okay, we can see Crack being picked more often. This could be related that more guys have Crack on 3 stars as well as Mavis. And on 3 star, I consider Crack being better than Mavis as well. Or players just did unlock Mavis not till the date, while they already unlocked Crack as a starter unit. And if we check that out and consider that Bo and El Primo are available as well as the Goblin really early in the game, well, they are really rarely picked. The Goblin, well, I'm picking it definitely more often than only the 2%, I guess, because that coin boost is still pretty good, but for fighting, I'm not really using him. And El Primo, I definitely pick the El Primo pretty often because the stun and the HP is pretty nice but there will be a video for aoe damage and stunning attacks pretty soon and one of my most favorite units bow is not picked that often and we will see later why because it's hard to play that unit and it is super squishy as next they have done then some further weight to the success metric here they call it tst3 i will break it down in a second and they have aligned it with the pick rate to show you which units got picked pretty often and what was the outcome of that match. If we go to the TST3 algorithm, yet it's becoming kind of complicated, but I can see why they have aligned those numbers to each other. We got there first for sure the troop score for top three. That's where the name is coming from. And we got here the sum over many indicators as first troop picks by the player of this troop and the total troop picks by the player that is where everything is getting divided by. Furthermore, we got the top three rate of that specific player uh -huh. and the average top three rate in the leaderboard. Since those guys in the leaderboard are on the leaderboard, they are giving that highlight metric there because they are that far in the progress in the game. That's why the top three rate of me or normal player or few is compared to the total top three rate with that unit of the scoreboard. But a high EST3 rate does not mean that you should now pick that unit every time, but it tells you that this unit is kinda underrated because this is a value which is comparing the pick rate towards the success rate. And there on the first position is the trader. Well, this could mean, okay, not everybody can pick the trader since you unlock him in a further state of the game, but most should have reached it already. And the pick rate is 3.9. I already consider this being pretty low. And if we see trader, trader is an insanely good unit. And I have ranked it lately to a very high tier because it is healing you and it is converting tons of gems and gems are the main goal in each match. As next we got the chicken. Well, this is kind of underrated as well and the TST3 value is 70. And then there is a pretty huge gap. That does not mean that the barbarian is worse in this game. No, that just means that this unit is picked very often and with that the success factor is pretty good. And now coming to the negative values. And we got there on the lowest value, bow and heavy as well as El Primo. So they are picked maybe not too often, but still too often to be successful. That is what this value is telling you. And that is, okay, El Primo is pretty strong if I play him and bow as well. Heavy, I can see that. Okay. And cold is also kind of overrated according to this value. That is interesting. 
And Bo, yeah, many guys told me that is a bad unit, but personally, I, I should break down my values and see how often I played that unit and what my success rate is. Maybe I should not pick him anymore, but I personally have the feeling that I should pick it even more often because I can outfarm the opponents. But well, that might be not true. Because next we are checking for sure the rare units and we can see the pick rates there. Most pick unit for sure, the Hawk Rider. And even many of you didn't unlock him so far, it's still the most pick unit. That is kind of crazy. You got his next chassis with 3.3%, the tank girl with 3.2%. And all those other units and dynamite being picked the less percentage wise. That is kind of crazy. So we got there in total 2.25 million picks for the Hawk Rider. And in the last three days, now I understand it correct, it got picked 4.4% of the times. And there we can see that Chassis, as well as the Ice Wizard and Bandit, have been picked already pretty often in the last three days, while the total pick amount is for sure not that high because they got recently released. And the less often pick is Dynamite, Nita and B. But guys, B is pretty good. So I expect for B, they're a pretty good value. Looking at these values, we can see it right here. Hawk Rider, even he is the most picked unit. He has the highest TST3 rate. So that unit is even still underrated. Or what I said before, not too many have him unlocked, so they can't play him. As next we got Ice Wizard, Bandit, which are pretty newly released. And I guess met, not everybody did unlock them then. Or just don't know how good they really are. They are really good. And as next we got their Penny, for sure with the maps at the end. It's still a positive value. As well as for Dynamite, the Tank Girl and B and Tank Girl. Still a little bit overrated, uh, underrated, sorry, underrated. If I say overrated, positive values mean underrated. That's kind of crazy and overrated. We got the Medic, Nita, Pam, Essie is kind of overrated. Okay, Wizard, that's interesting. Dynamite still there in a solid six position. If we check out now the Epic units, we can see that the pick rate in the last three days, we got Max, Barbarian King, Archer Queen. So Max, speed is the key, guys. Speed is for real the key. We saw Hog Rider on the first, we saw Max here on the first, and we saw Chicken being on a decent position. That's what I'm telling you guys. And that's why Chicken will be a little bit too low rated in our tier list. And we can see Dr. T being the least picked in the last three days, which is actually a crazy value. With the more the witch, Royal King, Mortis and Battle Healer. So what are now the outcomes of the matches? If we see, well, Max is still underrated, as well as the Archer Queen and the Barbarian King. Well, those units are fire. Battle Healer, also kind of underrated, which is interesting. And the next units, we got there just a surprise. Okay, Mortis with minus 51. That means this unit is kind of overrated. And if you picked it, it was not too likely to get to the top three. Comparing your values to the leaderboard. And if we check out the top layer sets for the official creators, so not the super creators, they are listed here as well. I am one of them being on the fourth position right now with a top three rate of 63%, which is not too crazy looking at the other guys. And the trophies for sure, that is the main indicator here. So my top three rate is not too crazy. But guys, just consider that we have done 80 loss positions, like 10s or 9s for the cold event when it was there. And that means if I'm not doing that anymore in the future, I guess my rate will get there a little bit better. So what are your thoughts on these numbers? I really like that they break it down. That is insane. Really appreciate their thought there and definitely check them out. And as I don't have a code right now, definitely use the Royal AP code for supporting them for free. Thank you guys for watching this video until now and hopefully you have enjoyed and we will see us again pretty soon.